Hello world. As always, my, my kings, queens, and zooligans, thank you all for tapping in with your boy. It's another one. God blesses us to be above ground and find innovative ways to create change, not only for ourselves, but for those around us. Before I get started, got to say a prayer. Got to give it up to the Father first and foremost, because he's the one who's allowing us to come together. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to come together in your name. Thank you, Lord Father, for allowing us to find ways to create change for everybody out there, our loved ones, our babies, our friends, our enemies, Lord Father. Please forgive us for all our sins, Lord Father, through you. All things is possible, Lord Father, through you. All things is possible, and without you, nothing is, Lord Father. Uh, I thank you, Lord Father, for the love and the blessings and the things that you continuously do for not only me, but for my loved ones. In your name, Lord Father, amen. Now, all my Zooligans, yes, I got a real one on the line once again. We did it before, but we're going to do it again because this dude is so special, not only to me, but to our entire community, our entire city. And, and as far as this world goes, man, he's a, he's, a, he's a special one, man. So I had to tap back in with him so that we can uh, get more depth uh, uh, intellectually with what's going on with him and ways and means on, 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 that we might be able to create some change. Now, it's an honor and a blessing to have him with me, man. I, just, and I thank God, man, that uh, uh, he's allowed a platform like this to, 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 to bring beauty uh, out of such ugliness, man. And without further ado, man, like I said before, it's an honor. My homeboy, man, my loved one, man, Lil Spank Booty, Emerald Hills, OG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, my brother? Like what, man, if I must say, that's a hell of an introduction, my brother. I feel real honored and pleasure, black man. Thank you very much for having me on your platform again, man. It's always a pleasure to be able to share some of this articulation with the queen, the king. Let's call Andrew. For sure, man. Number will be monitored. For sure, man. For sure, man. Like I said, I, I love when it's real. Princes and princesses. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate you, bro. Like I say, the last video we did... Uh, it did ex ex exceptionally well. Uh, a lot of my homeboys, I know for sure, because I got, you know, I'm tapped in with them. They told me um, how they felt about the interview. Uh, even all the way down in Texas, man, you know what I'm saying, where they was like, uh, um, it's beauty in what we doing, man. And so, uh, yeah, they, they really love where you was coming from. And that's another reason why I wanted to dive in deep. Uh, uh, so that we can kind of touch on a lot of the stuff we were saying because we was running kind of through it, if you were to ask me. And it's going, you know, we're going to have to do a couple more. We're going to have to, we're going to do a lot more videos, man, because yes, you got a lot of wisdom, you know? You got a lot of wisdom. Yes, sir. Yeah, now, time, man. anytime I could be of service, it's all good. So, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let me ask you this, Mr. Spank. Let me ask you this, bro. Uh, now, w yes, before sir. we had talked about the Emerald Hilling, and how you got your Emerald Hillen. Now, let me ask you this. Did you always want to be a gangster? Or, or, like, you know, was that just like a part of your reality? Say that one more time. I didn't hear you. I, I said, so before we had talked about your Emerald Hillen, right? And so I, what I was right. wanting to know was, like, is that always what you wanted to be? Like, for me, it's it like, like, I'm asking like this, because I feel like for me, it really wasn't, my mama made, my mama made the Brooke Posse babysit me. Like she made them take me to school and bring me home. And she tried to say, you know, she didn't know that they was a gang. And, you know, I'm saying, well, shit, they right. got them red and black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they drinking and, you right. know what I'm saying? Like they have the image of everything yeah. on what one, one, one would perceive to be bad guys. And uh, she act, you know, I can't say she's acting. I don't want to say that because I don't want to throw her up under the bus. I love her, you know what I'm saying? But but she was a woman that had jobs. She had to work. She she my father was gone. Father was on crack he, uh, crack, like most of our parents was in the early '80s, because you know it was brand new to him and whatnot. So he caught that first right. wave, you know what I'm saying? And I and I forgive him too. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But he yeah, because he for, he was in the game, so he was the first wave that got the crack. 
and he was getting money. But then, like a lot of the people on the first right. wave, was a victim of getting high on their own supply because they didn't know, you know what I'm saying, what they was going to be subject to. And so that ended up being his right. fall. And then she had to work, you know what I'm saying, to get, to, you know, she got to put the food on the on the table now. And by her doing that, right. she would have to leave. At uh, so she would call me, bro. I went to Daniel Boone Elementary School, and she would call me, uh, five, six in the morning, whatever, and say, "Hey, man, your breakfast is in the oven. Your clothes is on the couch. Put them on and walk around the corner to Dillard House. I don't know if you know my homeboy Sugar Deal, but uh, she would walk around the corner to his house and then walk to school with them. And his brothers was gangsters, and everybody around there was gangsters. So it was like, you know." I, it put me right in the belly of the beast. And so I, I felt like, you know, I had no other choice. And so I'm asking you, is being a gangster was your only choice? Or did you did you just like the lifestyle? Um, you know what I mean? I definitely, I definitely, right. I definitely like the lifestyle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, uh, well, you know, maybe a lot of stuff be in our blood, too, from ancestry that we don't know far back. And I'm saying that because as my, my uncle did some genealogy on my family, I come to find out that a lot of my family members from way back been touched with the history before and then did everything from run numbers to moonshine way back in them days. So, you know, sometimes we get to thinking that a lot of these characteristics are intrinsic within us, but then we find out that that resisted blood that it may manifest in different ways is in our bloodline from way back. So with that being said, I don't think that I turned out to be nothing that I wasn't supposed to be, bro. I, I hear honestly that. feel like that. Now, to answer your question, my first love, I love riding skateboards. I still do it right now to this day. When I get the opportunity, I love skateboards, bro. So if you let me tell it, shit, I really like that. But the, obviously, the magnetism of being a gangster was a lot more strong than that current of skateboarding because look at the route I went. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you know, know what? But it, I say that to say, excuse me, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You say that to say what, bro? My bad. I said that to say, you know, yeah, no problem. Uh, I feel like the things that we are, bro, we ain't supposed to change. That's what, what makes us who we are, even through the mistakes. Life ain't realistically all about winning. You know, regardless of what people show you on the gram or even some of these other Africans that get an opportunity to transmit live and direct from behind these suits, you know, a lot of times we see the best side of it. We don't really see the reality of it, homie, and the strain and the negative aspect of it, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, but in life, it's the same way. Everything ain't just all based on wins. That's so a fact. we can't just say, oh, well, I would change this and change all the losses. Come on, bro, that's not realistic. You right. know what I'm saying? Life comes with wins and losses, but it's about learning those lessons and embracing that as being what's your trajectory to make you who you're supposed to be. I would hope so, especially if you're growing every day and, and gaining knowledge and trying to advance and cultivate yourself. Then, of course, that person that I feel, I feel like you eventually evolve into once you get that knowledge yourself and start striving is who you were meant to be. You just went through those things. I took a who's to say if I would have changed something way back, who would know if I would be in a frame of mind that's given me the platform to sit here and articulate with you right the altered the whole trajectory of, uh, trajectory of my life you feel me yes sir yeah i feel that yeah, yeah everything 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 yes, that you've been through good bad and ugly is has shaped and molded you into the character you are today right now absolutely absolutely, absolutely. I feel. and i also feel uh what you were saying before because see now i feel like everything comes from the nut sacks you know what i'm saying so Right. Um, my family right. was gangsters too, so I feel like it was in me, not on me, man. You know what I mean? Like, no matter exactly. what, you know, like yeah, I watch mafia movies. I, I like the bad guys. I want them to get away, you know. So, I feel you. Exactly. I feel you. Exactly. And then a lot of times, those are the real representatives of of, of the, the guys we champion in our community. Mm -hmm. Especially, like I say, with the different levels of bastardization, like you said, unfortunately, cops caught that first wave of the yay. You know, my pops was in the game, too. My pops was a gangster. So when you be young, you might analyze these different things also. Like, oh, man, you know, my pops was never around. But I mean, just realistically, as being the person now myself who come from a game-related cloth, I understand it. Like, well, you know, pops was in the game. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. The game is in the streets, moving around. You know, sometimes suffering the repercussions of being in that lifestyle, going to the penitentiary, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? So, you know, 
And, what, yeah, and, and, what, and, and you know, what's crazy about that is, is that they, I don't want us to put a name on they, but they make sure that the game for us is played this way to where we have to take certain chances in order to try to bring bread and meat back to the stable, you know? Absolutely. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just saying, you know. You got to look at it like this. Mm-hmm. You got to look at it like this. What would make a young, wide-eyed youngster that sees his mom and if he blesses his pops as well, coming home every day after working eight-hour shifts for 15, 20 years, bro, but still not being able to get above the fray of them bills and all that. Now, what's going to uh, get that youngster the incentive to want to go get a job doing the same thing that he's seen his parents struggling doing his whole life down there? But yet, he go outside on his little project uh, 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 property, whether that's a playground in the jack, or if he's blessed to have a front yard and a pad and a street to call your, you know, where you live. You have 60 seconds remaining. Mm-hmm. Doing the urban, doing the urban entrepreneurial shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But you see them winning. They able to give pay their moms a little rent and take some out. What becomes the realistic objective of what you're striving to do? This call mm-hmm. and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. That ain't always just illegal. Right. But a lot of times we only focus on that. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? A nigga mm-hmm. can put the same hustle. Excuse me, I, I, I'm, I'm about to correct myself too because I'll be thinking about that. My elders be listening to some of this commentary. I got to stop saying that N-word so much. Mm-hmm. So I was going to say, uh, brothers tend to only put a lot of their focus, and I'm going to call right back to my brother, yeah. put a lot of their focus on the criminal aspect of certain hustles. If we gave half of the energy into something uh, uh, legitimate as we do into our more uh, rough around the edges type of investments, man, we would own a whole lot of businesses. Mm-hmm. Facts. 